The recording of this reflection is at a time when the coronavirus pandemic has gripped our country and our world, causing immense hardship and great fear. In such a context, how do the readings for the Feast of Jesus' Ascension console us and encourage us to respond as his friends and disciples? In the first reading from the Acts of the Apostles, after his resurrection, Jesus gathered the 11 apostles and reminded them of all they had seen and heard as they journeyed over their three years together. For example, the wedding feast at Cana, calming the storms at sea, the healing of Peter's mother-in-law, the multiplication of the loaves and fishes. The apostles were all present with Jesus on these occasions. Jesus commissioned the apostles and each one of us to continue the work they had done together. Jesus spoke to the apostles of their baptism of water, reminding them of John at the River Jordan. Jesus purposely mentioned this as baptism unites us together as a community of believers. The apostles persistently questioned Jesus, not really sure of what to make of his statements. They certainly were not comprehending the reality of the moment. Jesus assured them, you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. Yet, they continued to be hesitant of just what was really happening. In the letter to the Ephesians, the author speaks of seeing with eyes of the heart. What does that mean? What does that mean for us? Maybe the eyes of the heart could refer to seeing life situations through the eyes of faith. Perhaps it is denoting a glimpse of the Spirit of God in ourselves. God is revealed to us through our deepest longings, our dreams, and our hopes. Perhaps the eyes of the heart signifies believing the unconditional and eternal love God has for each and every one of us. The existing thread we see and hear, God is always with us. God will not leave us orphaned. To quote the little prince, it is only with the heart that one can see rightly. What is essential is invisible to the eye. Matthew's gospel takes us to the heart of today's feast. It describes the 11 apostles gathered with Jesus just as he did at the beginning of his ministry, Jesus clearly calls each of his apostles to go forth and continue his mission. Jesus formed a community of believers, a community of service. Jesus' life has come full circle. Jesus came to earth as a helpless infant. He grew and lived life to the full. Jesus established a circle of friends, Joseph and his mother Mary, the apostles, Mary Magdalene, Mary, Martha, and Lazarus, Nathaniel, Zacchaeus, the centurion, and countless others. Jesus helped the poor. Jesus heals the sick. Jesus welcomes the marginalized. The Feast of the Ascension commemorates Jesus' time to go back to God, his Abba, where he will remain in glory. This feast speaks so directly to each one of us amid these uncertain and frightening times. We are called like the apostles. We are being sent forth to open our hearts to Jesus to stand, serve, and be with the poor among us, 
to welcome the marginalized, to help the sick, to forgive one another. Simply put, to love as Jesus, to make our world a dwelling as envisioned by Jesus, united with another in love. Most importantly, Jesus let us know in no uncertain words that he will send the Holy Spirit to be with us, to guide us. Jesus promises not to leave us, for he will be with us all day, every day, until we meet face to face in heaven. So together, let us pray for the gift of hope that we may be able to meet the challenges of each day with love, with courage, with conviction. Generous God, fill our hearts.